What is up, guys? Indie Gamer Retro here, and welcome back to the Eyes of Ara for the PC. Uh, I'm guessing this is Chapter 4. I actually kind of figured the game would have been done with the last episode, but it looks like... Um, I guess I'm still trying to figure things out. <coughs> Ooh, excuse me. Well, that's a horrible shipwreck thing in the back. Achievement unlocked. Well read, scattered thoughts. May 2nd, 04. I've spent my life in quiet study and contemplation of the cosmos, and now at long last, my life's work is ready to unfold. Alas, I find myself longing only for the quiet laugh of a child. Banal and perfectly tactile in comparison. My dearest Clementine, if only you could be here. If anyone should be here to share this momentous occasion with me, it should be you. For I am not unsure it wasn't all you're doing. The sparks of unbridled curiosity will light the darkest places. Certainly the eyes recognize this quality in you. Perhaps it is why they came. Across species, across great distances, and across time, they recognize in you, a human child, a kinship of mind. A mind of such strong quality, to which to latch, seed, and go forth into the black themselves. In your absence they have made do with me, but I feel, and I fear, they're still hungry for what they know you can give them. At long last our work is complete and I have been but a part of that process. I stand at the cusp of human achievement, lifted upon the knowledge of all that have come before me, ready to place humanity's stamp on the universe. The device is ready, and a great beacon that will shine strong and bright out into the cosmos from our tiny world, and it shall proclaim, we are here. All that remains now is activated, but alas, that would not be tonight. The weather has turned for the worse, and an evil-looking storm is rolling in. <coughs> I must go down to the docks to secure the boat. Activation won't have to wait for now. I have waited years for this moment. I can wait another night. Okay. I'm guessing I have to actually make my way to the top of the tower for, like, whatever reason. Button. I'm not sure what the action figures are for. That's clearly going to be a something. And it looks like I am still missing, like, five coins. Okay. <coughs> Ooh. <coughs> Give me that. And the paintings. I'm not entirely sure where they were supposed to be, but that looks like one of the eyes, and that's... I don't know what these two were supposed to be. Achievement unlocked to the altar. Excuse me, God. Shush. Achievement locked. Radio silence. Okay. Aquarius 1, Ares 2, Taurus 3. Got three coinage. Okay. I was expecting to find like a one of those rock things jutting out the side of the frickin' wall again. Hello, bye bye. Carnage? Okay, keep it unlocked. Budgeting for indies. <laughs> That's awesome. So we go ahead and take care of what that was down here with this. Carnage? <coughs> Carnage. <laughs> 
sure. <coughs> Curious 4, Taurus 12. I mean, Taurus 12. Aries, Aquarius, Aquarius 37. Aquarius. Oh, I guess dash. Taurus, Aquarius, dash, dash, dash. Hmm. Hmm. Ooh. Ooh. That's a lot of eyes. Ooh, and the moon. That's a lot of eyes. That's a whole mess of them. <coughs> <coughs> okay, so where the fuck? That looks like very, very fine all up there. I don't know where the hell would this be at? Because that honestly didn't look like that would be up there. Because that moves two and five. One and two. Two, three, and f I'm sorry, two, four, and five. One, three, and five. Okay, so I just have to make like a connection that just, I guess, just starts here and goes across. Not quite. Or. Move that one. Yep, I need to move that one over there too, huh? Dash Aquarius Aries. What the? Ooh. No. So, what the hell? How the hell does can that make for those? Because if who ends in for why for you be texting the me? I don't know who you is. Okay. Hold up. Is that. I need paper. I think that might be base 4. Are you fucking kidding me? You're asking me to use something that I've used in, what, ninth grade math one time because fucking people and such. Hold on. I really do need to make a thing for this. <coughs> oh, shush. Oh shit, I think this is. Are you fucking kidding me? People, do you I don't think you really want me to actually explain what base four is. It's like instead of using like uh I think it's like the, the base ten system, it's like the base four it goes by fours instead of tens. So <coughs> it's like the first number that's used as like the uh, reference point would be like one. And then one times four is four. And then four times four is sixteen. And then 16 times 4 is 64, and then times 4 is 2 fucking 56, and then a thousand whatever the crap, you know. <coughs> <coughs> and I'm gonna look for like a, probably like a video or something. What the hell is this number? Okay, so that'd be a... Uh...
that's what two zero one zero Oh my god. This looks like super, super final. Where the hell? <coughs> Do I figure out that little freaking altar thing over here? What the fuck? Okay, so I'm back in chapter three with like that funky. I guess this would be chapter, yeah, it's chapter three, like this part, and I point to this room, God, I'm looking around, case there's something I missed, and, yeah, so, the answer's in, like, spread around all the chapters, so, what the crap, so, but this is, like, chapter three, so, I'm guessing this would be, like, one of the last ones, so, okay, all right, this is actually in the tutorial section. God, it's like, why did you do this? So everything we've been through, I've been nice to you. Okay, this is the start of chapter one. Okay, so I actually made a mistake that, um, that other one that I did, that was chapter, um, like the beginning the beginning part of a uh, chapter two like I'm in actually chapter three right now so my bad okay so what does this do okay so one looks like, like a monkey looking person doing yippee the second one actually kind of looks like like a seahorsey then <coughs> that one's doing like a Kite number. <coughs> and then that was just doing like a. That. been unlocked to all who made this possible. Okay, so this must be like a... Thanks to all who helped make this possible, Ben Drost. Okay, yeah, so it's like a Kickstarter, um, like special thing. Kind of coolios. Okay, so this was extra. I didn't even really have to do this, but... <gasps> Doggo. Red beard stuff. Look, welcome to the garden. Guests are invited to heed the following for the duration of their stay. Your wanderings may be long or very short. There are many paths in the garden. Some are more secret than others. Some secrets are guarded carefully. Nothing is so buried that it cannot be found. You must choose your path carefully on the voyage within. Routes exist in places you may not supposed to be them. May not suppo- what? Basically, you may not suppose them to be. Hello. Study the doorway and begin to understand the world that it holds. Like, Kubilius, I guess? Whatever that person is. Okay. Like, 
that or something? That was like the first one. Okay, person. Ooh, switch. I don't know what that. Oh, that lit up something. Dude, that didn't light up. Did I do it wrong? I'm trying to remember, was it like this? Or. Okay. Okay, I guess it's like that then. I don't know why I thought it was like something else. The call has gone forth both far and wide to bring forth a wanderer to search inside. To wrench forth the secrets from deep within, the traveler searching escape for that chagrin. An even greater adventure underground. As we wander through these hallways so old, terrors wrenched from eyes as hearts turn cold. Beauty destroyed and lonely life burnt out. From the past, the viciousness of death's shout. Lost beauty from deep underground. Standing, curios standing curiously before each locked door, wonder and marvel and our minds doth soar. Just to know these ancients with knowledge so pronounced, now gone and destroyed when death came un unannounced. Lost life from deep underground. Each secret pride from that hidden hand brings amazing knowledge into our land. Wondrous artifacts from a person so advanced that only death could destroy its parlance. Lost minds from the deep underground. Did he write that poem? Sounds awesome. <coughs> yeah. What the fuck? Um, d d doink, I guess, a, a vote of confidence, I'm sure, I, I'm not... Ooh, what are these? I literally just read that book. <coughs> Another book. Turning back time. Okay. Book. <coughs> mm -hmm. Want of crimes against adventure, misuse of Zigzi, I guess, and Zimdor. Five thousand reward. Zorkman is also available. Okay. Wanted for crimes against the great underground empire. This man is wanted for gruesome crimes against all Frobosian law. He uses various names in disguise. David Doom, Albad Ross, Albadross, Drake, even Captain Drake. Heading the list of charges are... Uh, yeah, he has excessively used this command to try to get out of tricky little mazes and other complex situations. Rezroth. He has repeatedly used this spell to gain access to parts of the empire and its treasures to which he has no authority. Opposite of Rezroth. He has likewise used it to shut doors to evade capture by the police forces of both... What? Tried to triple the volume of the alcoholic beverages using Zimdor. So often they have been barred from every drinking establishment in the Empire. I don't know what this is a reference to. Slowly open my eyes. Is this a dream? I am an active dreamer. I have had several dreams each night, and several of them I still can remember the day after. Even more, in my dreams I can even remember other dreams I once had. I come at places where I was before, in an earlier dream, and I remember some dreams that I've had as a kid or a teenager, so 40 to 50 years ago. In real life, I'm a great lover of pop music. Since January 1971, I make weekly my own hit list based on recent music, which I call my Starin' Top 20. Also, a weather freak, so it's no surprise I'm a meteorologist. Besides that, I love to read fantasy and, I guess, sci-fi books. Your author is Jack Vance, but I'm a fan of Tolkien, too. Books of Harry Potter, Rules of Magic, and Game of Thrones. Of course, I like to play computer fantasy games, too. Just like action and shooter games, but I'm a great fan of the Mist, Riven, and Uru games. Almost said Uru. <clears throat> have them all, and I have written my own books about these games. I'm a regular player of Mola, I guess, and players I can meet there as Tom... More often as boy with, but boy with something. So what is real and what is a dream? Playing a game like Mola is a virtual, but more real than a dream. 
I've made many friends there and with some, even a real life contact is established. Playing these games I consider as a great experience. Eyes of Ara is also such a game. I feel proud I can wander through this mysterious castle and even more to stay alive forever thanks to this book. Tom Vanderspeck. Okay. Well read, a show of support. You've been my inspiration. I owe my soul to you. You gave, wait, you give your magic and you... Oh my god, phone. Knock it off. You give your magic <laughs> and your genius. You will never cease to please. Okay. One more. This? Yes. Now what does this do? <coughs> <coughs> oh god, excuse me. <coughs> okay, that just takes me back to chapter 3. Through another secret door. Okay. All right, that was a nice little thing. That's kind of cool of them to do that. I've uh, I've backed a few games on Kickstarter where they've done that, where they've had like special rooms for um, the people that backed like either um, like a certain tier. So about the munching, I'm eating a burger and some chipsies. <coughs> okay. Nice. Activate. Human Lock, the Eyes of Aura. <coughs> oh, that's bright. It's doing a something. Giant freaking spaceship. <coughs> That's okay. See ya, I guess. Holy shit. Yeah. Okay, so I see why they wanted to do that at night. Okay. Big old spaceship. Damn, that was pretty cool. Ah, the ship's burnt. Yay! Designed and developed by Ben Drost, 100 Stone Interactive. Oh, this game was, like, super awesome. <coughs> we have it, guys, the end of The Eyes of Aura. God. I'm, like, so attracted to, um, to Mist-like games. <coughs> Which I might actually, like, like do Mist at some point. I got the PS version, and I got the, um, the PC version through GOG. Well, I think it's the same game, you know? But, yeah, I love this game. It was a little aggravating at times, but you're gonna get that with every game. But I like I like the design. I like the music. I just wish it was more um, pronounced through the game and not have parts of the game where there was just like complete silence and music wouldn't kick on for minutes. Or you pick up something and then it's like, oh, you did it a thing, and then the music would kick up and it's like, thank you for all my friends and family for your support during this endeavor. Your advice, assistance, and much needed direction distractions helped me to see this through to the end. 
Mom, Dad, and Nick and Pat. Something, something, something. Other stuffs. Okay. Thank you, Grandma, for all your love and support and, and delicious wine trifles. Dorothy McMaster, 1932 to 2016. Okay. Thank you, everyone, to help test the eyes of our during its development. That's one thing I won't do is, like, if I help, like, back a game or something to say, oh, can you be, like, a tester or something? If it's, like, beta or alpha testing, I kind of refrain from doing that because I don't like playing a game before it's complete. But once the game is out, then I have no issue doing it because whenever I play a game on here, especially if it's a new game, I'll try to play it, you know, live blind. <coughs> but, like, in the case of, um... Oh. <coughs> like Battle Princess Madeline. Oh, wait, hold up. Wait, wait. Wait, what is that? Kickstarter and backer, the eyes of our would not have been possible without your support. Eh, no. Three and a half hours, that's not too bad. I want to go back and do something. I clicked the thing I didn't mean to. I don't even see that thing right there. At 301. Our oh, poor grandmama. But yeah. Like, I really, really enjoyed this. Like, there were a couple of parts where it's like, I had to really think, or something that I could have easily have overlooked to figure out a puzzle. But overall, they actually weren't too bad. Now, so there's some puzzles I'm not really a fan of, like the spinning ones, where you move one part of the puzzle and it moves, like, the other parts in, like, the opposite direction. Like, the, the, like the, uh, the picture, I think that was supposed to be Hermes, I think, in that basement. Possibly, I'm not sure. You know, I'm not a big fan of that. Just because it's just my preference. I don't like puzzles that do that. Because I'm trying to, like, turn it one way while thinking how it turns the other way at the same time. And it's like, my brain says, haha, no. You know? <coughs> but other than that, I really enjoyed this. Like, I love the, the, the design of the game, like, the setting, the story, the mu like I said, the music. If the music were a little more thorough throughout the game... Then I would have enjoyed it more. But like I said, there are points in the game where it's just absolute silence. And then uh, it just, I'll do something, I'll pick up an item, and it's like, then the music will just kick up. And it's like, especially in the uh, the planetarium, you know, it kicked up in there. And it's like, oh, I like the sound of this. That's what I was listening to while um, I was trying to get that damn achievement thing to unlock with the um, <coughs> leg on the pillow for five minutes. It just started playing, you know, so I was just listening to that while it was happening. So I don't know if they managed to do that, or if just my copy is like kind of, you know, crazy. But yeah, no bad thing to say about this game. None. I just, oh, no. Yeah. Eh. 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 No. Okay. <clears throat> I kind of wish I would have like found out about this game when it was on Kickstarter, you know? And not finding out like, I think this came out like 2015 or 2016, you know? And here I am playing in a 2022. And I would have loved to back this game. Not just yeah, but hell yeah, you know? I'm a big fan of like the Mist style games and I'm probably going to get to Mist at some point and probably do Riven after that and then I haven't you know been able to get a copy of anything beyond that but I think Mist is up to I think like five or six I was like ooh I think like back in the day when I was playing Mist I play like maybe like an hour a day and it took me like a month to be and then when I got to Riven a month later, I'm still on freaking disc one of three. Like, why would you do this to me? Understones Interactive. 
2016. Digital license information we found at hundredstoneinteractive.com. Okay. Okay, so it just gave me some codes. What is that for? <coughs> the only thing I can think of that it would go to would be this thing in here. <coughs> Excuse me. So what the F was it? 20... 49... Oh, awesome. Written in the stars. Hundred stones. That's awesome. Okay. A little hard to read, but yeah, that's super cool. Okay, so, uh, I guess I'm done with this game. Everything's been completed. I guess all the special stuff's been picked up. Achievements unlocked. Well, that I really cared to, like, get. Pretty sure there's a bunch of other shit that I, like, didn't get to, but, you know, that's fine. So three and a half hours, that's not too bad. Just do that friggin' chapter three that was like an hour and something by itself, you know? So yeah, I really, really enjoyed this. I'm actually gonna have to check out some other games by them to see if they have anything besides the Eyes of Ira, but like, I really, really like this game. I don't really see it open for a sequel. Unless they come back and, like, the family comes back, but I don't really see how that would make it sequel-ish. <clears throat> Unless it actually shows it from, like, the planet's point of view and them making the thing and then sending them to Earth. I don't know. I think that part would be, like, a cool aspect. Actually going to Jupiter and showing, like, their technology and their civilization and them, like, the whoever, like, making the eyes, you know, and then sending them off. Like, that part would be, like, really cool. But other than that... Yeah, like, pretty dope. I uh, recommend you guys check it out if you're into, like, puzzle games and such, or if you like the mist, or the room, even. So, yeah, I want to thank you guys for watching. Um, if you like what you saw, please remember to subscribe. Uh, you can if you want to. If not, that's fine, too. Um, uh, I'm going to hold off taking some requests for right now, because I actually got, like, a couple of games lined up that I want to get taken care of. But you can go ahead and drop me a comment and let me know if there's a certain game you want me to check out and I'll look into it. I'll just kind of just put it on the back burner for a little bit until I can get like a game or two knocked out. Then I can take care of that one. But yeah, pretty awesome game. Like, good job, 100 Stones. Alrighty, so I'm not really sure which game I'm going to jump to next. I, like I said, I have a couple of them that I'm going to be checking out. I just don't know which one I'm going to pick yet. So I guess just... Um, hit that bell icon to receive notifications on which one I'm going to be picking and to keep you guys in the loop with what's going on with my channel and whatnot. As always, this is Indie Gamer Retro, and I'll see you guys next time.